Saudi Krap, welcome to this Wednesday, March 21st edition of Phuket Extra. I'm JP Mistanza, reminding you to vote in our latest poll on the PhuketNews.com, asking you, how should Phuket lifeguards be provided? Should it be up to local governments, the provincial authorities, a national government department? Cast your vote on the PhuketNews.com. Now here's the news you need to know. Another accident involving a Phuket minivan full of tourists and a truck has sent several people to the hospital with various injuries. The accident took place this morning at about 5 a.m. according to police on Petkasem Road in Takwatong, Pengna province just north of Phuket as the miniman was carrying eight people including six Swedish tourists all heading to the Phuket International Airport. When authorities arrived on the scene they found the Phuket registered minivan 100 meters from the truck and they had to use hydraulic cutters to free one of the injured from the minivan. In speaking with the truck driver Police learned that the minivan had crashed into the back of the truck and then hit a power pole before coming to a full stop. Three people, including the Thai driver and tour guide, along with one tourist, they've sustained injuries in the crash, which comes just a day after two people died on the same road in a separate incident, also involving a minivan full of tourists and a truck, which we'll get into now. Two Chinese tourists remain in Bangkok Hospital Phuket following yesterday's horrific fatal crash on Pekasem Road in Pengna Province and Phuket Governor Norepa Plotong even offered support in a visit earlier today. The governor is helping the injured contact their relatives in China during his visit to the hospital and provided more lip service on increasing road safety, suggesting that the government should issue a law to make sure public transport vehicles are up to date before they're used to transport tourists. It all comes after yesterday's crash, in which a minivan full of Chinese tourists were coming from Patong to the Simulan National Park when it collided at high speed into the back of an 18-wheel truck, killing the minivan driver and one tourist on that minivan. We've heard a lot of talk about road safety. Perhaps this could be one of the incidents that spurs real change for tourist safety, despite Thailand being named among the most dangerous places in the world to drive, according to the World Atlas and the World Health Organization. After embezzlement accusations were lobbed at a senior official at the Education Ministry, charges of malfeasance and more could be brought against her for allegedly siphoning off 88 million Thai baht. The money was actually set aside by the Education Ministry to fund the Sema Patana Chiwit Fund, which supports education for young girls from poor families. But an internal probe by anti-corruption officials have uncovered irregular bank transfers and other shady dealings. Officials found evidence of misconduct that led to a senior planning analyst, Rohana Sinti, whose job it was to record the meeting minutes with potential scholarship recipients, and when they approached her, she allegedly admitted to siphoning off the money into 22 bank accounts belonging to her relatives. Authorities say that Rohana, potentially with the help of others, allegedly embezzled 88 million baht, as only 77.5 out of the 166 million set aside for the scholarship fund had ever reached the students. She now faces a host of charges. Sit tight, Phuket Extra will be right back after this. Welcome back to Phuket Extra. Amid criticism that the military is currying favor for their own political ambitions, the Prime Minister's cabinet has already approved a project that would give 30 billion Thai baht to 82,000 villages nationwide. The money is just one piece of a 150 billion baht supplementary budget which will be put before the National Legislative Assembly this week for endorsement. And if it passes that hurdle, it also means that 2.5 billion baht will be used towards government, welfare, and subsidy programs, along with the 30 billion baht for poor villages. 
Still, the Interior Minister is rejecting criticism that the money is just a ruse to drum up support for the military-backed political party that is expected to take part in the general election next February, with some calling it a populist measure no different than what previous elected governments had done. A curious story in Pattaya now as a massage shop owner is claiming that she dreamt that a tree would fall and damage property, and that's exactly what happened. It took place yesterday in Thailand's Sin City, according to Thai publication Sanuk, as a 20-meter tall tree collapsed onto several vehicles down below, damaging all of them, and get this, 10 of those cars belong to local police. The owner of a Thai massage shop in the area claimed that the goddess of the trees, Zhao Me Takian, appeared to her in a dream, predicting that this would happen, and although several people moved their cars in anticipation, police didn't get the memo. Luckily, no one was hurt in the incident. There you have it, Puka Desha is done for today. From all of us at the Puka News Center, thank you for watching. Stay up to date by visiting us at thepukanews.com. Drive safe out there, everyone, and don't forget, stay classy, Phuket.